Hi, my name's Bee, and today I'm going to show you around the beautiful Jack Sparrow House in Cornwall. Let's have a look around. Welcome to the inside of Jack Sparrow House. It's actually quite spacious inside considering it looks so tiny from the outside. It's really open and airy, which is lovely, especially with all the natural wood that's going on. So firstly, you come in through this beautiful curved door, kind of like an onion shape. It goes with the shape of the house. So in the kitchen, there's a little two ring burner hob here, perfect for making a cup of tea and also a little grill underneath, which is very useful for toast and stuff because we all love toast. <laughs> there's a sink here, which was for the bathroom and the kitchen. And I love this little hose that they've attached to the tap. It's just kind of like a little unique feel to it. And uh, yeah, good water coming out of there. You might have noticed there's a lot of rustic pieces of wood. It's got a very nice natural earthy feel in here and it does feel surprisingly open. It's quite crazy because it does look so tiny from the outside. So underneath the cooker and the sink, they've got a little utensil station, which again is made from really nice, unique pieces of wood that look like they've literally just been foraged from a woodland or something. And it's really open and lovely and it just looks really natural. So it does really feel like you're in some kind of like fairy house or something in here. Opposite the kitchen is a really massive sofa to relax on. So you can just sit in here and admire the beautiful little house that you're in. There's a table to put your drinks and stuff on and whilst what one of you is cooking the other one can sit and watch and instruct them on what to do <laughs> there's some more of the really beautiful um, natural wood dotted around it's being used to like hold up the fairy lights which is just a really nice touch it does feel really earthy and natural in here it's just really relaxed the curtain rails are actually made out of the same thing which is a really nice touch i've not seen that before and it's a really cool way to hang curtains up and just make it feel less clinical and, and go with the rest of the theme which is a really nice idea and the curtains are really light and airy as well which keeps the light in but also gives you that privacy if you want and talking about the windows they actually open up into this beautiful little kind of like a secretive kind of garden area that you're in and then you can also see out into the sea which is just beautiful Behind the sofa area, there's actually a little secluded bathroom, which is really, really nice to have. It means you don't have to go outside to go to the toilet. You've got it all here, flushing toilet, perfect. And that's also dotted with fairy lights. It's just so much ambient glow in here. It's really nice and soft. So the building itself is kind of like an A-frame structure, but what makes it incredibly unique is the fact that it really curves outwards before it reaches the peak of the A-frame. It gives it that much wider feel and doesn't feel quite as claustrophobic as an A-frame can. What otherwise would have been dead space has been turned into a nice shelving unit, which is really useful for keeping all the kitchen stuff together. In such a small space, it's important to make the most out of all of the room that you have. And with a staircase, a lot of dead space can be used up, which is why underneath here, they've got a really cute little hideaway that houses the radiator, blankets, and all sorts of stuff like that, that otherwise would be taking up valuable space inside the small house. The rest of the staircase is this really cute little ladder, which keeps the room open and leads up to the best part of the house. By far my favourite part of the house has got to be the bedroom, it's just so peaceful and relaxing up here. The material along the walls just makes it feel really cosy. There's a big window behind me that lets you look out onto the sea and brings in a beautiful breeze and it makes it feel really light and airy up here. The double bed is really comfortable, perfect for two people to sleep in. And the last beautiful finishing touch has got to be the wooden chandelier that just dangles above your head full of fairy lights and it's just a really nice, peaceful way to end your day here. I hope you've enjoyed having a look around the Jack Sparrow house with me today and don't forget to leave a comment below if you enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe now and turn on post notifications so you never miss a video. If you want to support us and help continue making our videos then join us on Patreon from only $1 a month. See you on the next one.